God Squad, let me have a real talk with y'all again. What's Every up? time I'm talking to y'all, it's gonna be a real talk. And here we go. I can't tell everybody else about this, but I know y'all are gonna under I know you all will understand. You get wheelchairs, you're in the bed, you can't do a whole lot. Man, I just got my first fucking diaper rash. Uh? What the hell is that? I didn't even know that we could get a diaper rash unless you actually wore diapers. I don't wear diapers. Time I'm best to stay in regular clothes. But I got the diaper rash because with the kids and they wear the diapers and it gets a little wet, make it a little soggy. It's the same thing with regular clothes. So even if you're not wearing diapers, you need to understand that just wearing your regular drawers, just wearing your regular shorts and pants, whatever it is going on. You have something rubbing up against your stuff. Something's always rubbing up against your stuff. It's always touching up against your stuff because you're sitting down, you're wheelchair bound, or you're in that bed, you're bed bound. That's going to cause the diaper rash. Just got hit with that. I tried to go the longest that I could before I even asked about it. Got diagnosed with it. I got stuff for it. But the next thing, is that you need to understand that after the diaper rash come the bed sores. And you know the bed sores are a whole nother problem. You do not want to start that shit up. So God Squad, the Gratitude Over Disability Squad, I'm here to let you know that yes, you can get a diaper rash even if you don't wear diapers. And even more importantly, if you get the rash, Bed sores are coming. Get your ass out the wheelchair, roll over in the bed, do whatever you can, but do your best not to get hit with the bed sores.